So my name's Courtney and today I've done a little easy tutorial on how to get this little pink shimmery eye look. I also added a little bit of glitter to the cheeks which you will see later on. Completely optional but thought I'd add it in there anyway. I just want to say as well you do not need any of the products that I've got to be able to complete this look. It's so easy you could just do it with any eyeshadow on a shimmer you can create any color combination that you wanted to really there will be an email in the description box below and then you'll be able to send any questions in whether it's about a product or what i'm wearing on my face because i know it didn't do my skin in this or how to do something just send the question in and i'll be able to get back to you but without further ado let's get into the video i'm starting off with the base already done and then today i'm going to use this little nude palette it's got some like pinky shades in so I'm going to use this shade, this shade and this shade and I'm just going to make a really cute and easy pink smoky eye. So to prep the eye I'm going to just go in with a little bit of concealer and pop that on the eyelids. Then I'm going to take a little concealer buffing brush and pat that all over the lid. If you don't have a concealer you can just use a bit of foundation. Also if you think I'm looking down a lot it's because my mirror's down here. I do apologise and just keep blending that out so then we don't set it with any powder so first of all i'm going to go in with this light pink shade and a really big fluffy brush i'm just going to tap in tap off any excess and start blending this all over the eye it doesn't matter if you get it on your eyelid because we're going to be putting a shimmer over that anyway so you're just going to do little swiping motions across the eyelids and add in a little bit more eyeshadow each time and remember to only press lightly on the eye you don't want to press the brush too hard because then your eyeshadow isn't going to blend out and it's just going to stick and I'm just kind of stopping once I get towards the end of the eyebrow I'm not taking it too far out then once you're happy with the colour which is looking like this I'm then going to go in with a different brush and the darker pink shade and this one's going to go in the crease and this brush is still a fluffy brush but it's just a little bit thinner so the way to find your crease is to press on your eyelid and then push into the little crevice well crease um, above your eyeball and this is where you start to get the pigment so then I'm just going to go back in with the light pink shade and blend those over them edges and again it doesn't matter if you get it on the eyelids because we're going to cover that with the shimmer in a second anyway so it should have something a little bit like this so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my finger and I usually like to use my middle finger swirl it in the pan of a shimmer and start pressing that onto the lid I like to start towards the lash line and then work my way up up to just a little bit above the crease so you can see when your eyes are open and just keep dabbing your finger in and pressing that on using shimmers this way is just sometimes a little bit easier than a brush and even better that you don't need any other brushes for it and then just pop that all over the lid and this just gives like a really nice shimmery pink smoky eye and you cannot go wrong with a pink eyeshadow so i'm just gonna wipe that eyeshadow off my hands before i start imprinting everywhere so then for the liner on the top of your lash line i'm going to use a brown pencil liner you can use whatever eyeliner you've got at home and then just start to draw along just above where your lashes are it doesn't matter if it's not perfect this is just to add a little bit of definition to the outer corner of the eye and that way when you put your mascara on it looks a little bit fuller and then when it comes to the end I just like to take the blending brush with the darkest pink on and just give it a little wiggle it won't do loads but it just kind of softens the end of the pencil out so it doesn't just look like it stopped and as well I don't go all the way in because I like to try and keep my eye as bright as possible so now I'm going to go in and do the top lash mascara and obviously you can just use any mascara you've got at home it doesn't need to be this one in particular but if you are interested this one is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Ecstatic Mascara I'm just going to coat the top lashes I'm not going to put too much on because I am going to put false eyelashes on but obviously you don't need to wear false eyelashes at all 
because this is only a nice little soft natural look so lashes aren't really necessary so then that is literally the top of the eye done so what i'm going to do is go in with the brown pencil liner again i'm going to pull my waterline slightly away from my eye and then i'm going to use the pencil and draw it along and the reason i like to pull the waterline away from the eye is so that the pencil doesn't get too close to the eyeball because people with sensitive eyes that can really irritate you and your eyes can start to water and you don't want to do that and as well you don't even have to put anything in your waterline if you don't want to it just depends how smooth you want it to look so for underneath the eye i'm going to go in with the darkest pink shade and i'm going to use a little bullet brush like this but you can use any brush that you've got at home and then i'm just going to start to blend that underneath the lashes and this just starts to tie all the eyeshadow together you just want to keep building it up until it's as dark as you want and then i'm going to go in with the lighter shade again same brush and just blend over the edges once that is done i'm going to do the leather lash mascara and this bit can either make or break you because you always end up getting mascara underneath your eyes if you do ever get mascara underneath your eyes though just let it sit there and dry and then once it's dry you can just scrape it off with a little spoolie or even with your nail ball a little spoolie like this just wipe it away and it's gone it's the best way rather than when it's wet trying to go in and rub it it's just going to smudge everywhere so i'm quickly going to do this size eyeshadow and i'll be back in a second okay so i've done the other eye of camera and added a little bit of tinted brow gel to my eyebrows so now we're going to highlight the face which is exciting and then i think i'm going to add a smidge of glitter but that's obviously optional i've got this pale like highlighter shade and you can use like any white champagne -y color i'm just going to use another little bullet brush like this dip in and then i'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and then with a bigger fluffy brush i'm gonna swirl into the pan and i'm gonna highlight all the tops of my cheeks and this is where we start to feel like a glowing disco ball so obviously you don't need this specific highlighter but any highlighter you've got at home or shimmery eyeshadow will do the trick and then i just like to do it above my eyebrows on my nose lips and chin and then look at the glow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how I put my fake eyelashes on. Please, if you are younger, please do not think that you need fake eyelashes. I fell in the trap when I was about 17. And then I've been wearing them since. Anything below that, I don't think you need it. Do you not think when you're younger as well, you'd have nicer eyelashes than when you're older? So unfair. But I'm going to use these ones today. These are just nice little natural ones. And then what I like to do is take a lash glue that has a stick with it and then just run it along the lash band like so. Oh, a little bit of a clump. Make sure there's no clumps on it and then just leave it to dry for about 30 seconds and let it get a little bit tacky. That way when you put them onto your eyes, the glue isn't like really runny and like can't run into your eyes and like irritate you and stuff. So that's my little tip of the day. So while I'm waiting for them to get a little bit tacky, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little pigment, and this is from Peach's Makeup, and it's like a bit of a shimmery glitter, and I don't know if you can see, but it reflects pink. So this is what it looks like, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dab a little bit there, two little dabs, and two little dabs there, and just press that over where we highlighted, and this just gives, this is more like, a special certain occasion kind of thing to do but when you want to be a little bit extra and sparkly just add a loose glitter it has to be like a really fine glitter don't be doing this with like chunky glitters if you're going to do it with chunky glitters then i recommend putting down some hair gel first and then putting the glitter over love it so cute and like pretty so then the lashes are now tacky i'm just going to look down place them on top of my own lashes Press in the outer corner, press in the inner corner, and squeeze together. Just using my fingers. You can use tweezers for this, but I prefer to use my fingers. You just want to make sure the lash band is all stuck down. Well, to be fair, they went on quite easy today, didn't they? But never usually that easy. 
and it can just add to the look if it's like a really special occasion or just I don't know even if you just want to have fun at home and like start practicing how to put lashes on I would recommend getting a thinner pair first rather than going in with the big lashes start natural it's so much easier to put natural lashes on than it is bigger lashes and for lips what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe any foundation that I've got on my lips off I actually don't mind my lip colour so sometimes you don't really need a lipstick the lip line I'm going to use today is from Primark and it's called Latte and I'm just going to follow the outer edges of my lips just so your lip gloss doesn't like start seeping over the edges of your lips like I know lip gloss transfers anyway but this just kind of helps stop it doing so much and then I'm just going to take this pink lip gloss from Smashbox and it doesn't have to be this one just any little pink tinted lip gloss a gloss just goes so much nicer with like more of a natural look I know about there's a bit of glitter there but it's still quite a natural look especially with the eyes so the gloss can look a little bit prettier than a lipstick okay so let me just rejudge me hair the headband back on so this is the finished look super simple so easy even if you just use one blending brush it doesn't even matter a eyeshadow and a shimmer that's all you really need just blend the eyeshadow all over the eyelid pop a little shimmer on top of the eyelid and you're set to go you don't even need the liner it's just a little bit of an added extra if you do want a little bit more like impact do not think that you need to wear lashes with this look it's not necessary i just thought i'd include it just in case anyone wants to try it at home as i said at the start of the video there is going to be an email in the description box below where you can send in any questions whether it's about how to do something a product a product that i'm wearing on my face any questions that you want feel free to send in and i will be able to get back to you i do hope you follow along and even if you don't follow along i hope you enjoy the video and i hope everyone's okay hope everyone's staying safe and healthy and thank you so much for watching bye